Hey folks, Solo Gamer here, and we're going to be playing the second scenario from the game called Level 7 Escape. Now, we did our first playthrough last season on Level 7, and, and just I know this game gets a bad rep, and I went in blind not knowing anything about this game. I spontaneously bought the game, paid about 100 bucks for it in its expansion. So I'm not going to judge it based on reviews and stuff like that. I'm purely going in gameplay. Now, the first scenario, uh, we have to take account that it was a little vanilla scenario and that's because you know it's trying to get you acquainted with the rules and the basic gameplay well this scenario is going to be a little bit more different um, uh, this time we're going to be able to use items it ups some of the threats a little bit more so I don't expect it to be as vanilla and let's uh let's have a look at our scenario Reactivate the elevators. You and the other survivors dash into the elevator pursued by the thundering sound of military boots. Darian glance back into the passage you spot one of those things, whatever they are, glaring at you from the dark hollow of an open maintenance panel. On the elevator's control panel, you'll see buttons numbered 5, 6, and 7. Not knowing what to pick, you hammer them all. As the soldiers close in, the door slams shut. Soldiers pound on them and try to wedge fingers between them, but the elevator lurches into motion. The car moves ponderously, but you're going up. At last, you have a moment to catch your breath. Suddenly, mechanical brakes squeal, and the elevator grinds to halt. The light flickers off. The guards have cut the power. Through a maintenance grating in the roof of the elevator, you see an emergency light flicker on the, in the shaft above you. With the help of others, you climb, clamber to the tile on the top of the elevator car and pry open the doors to the next level. You need to get the elevator working again, but how? Quickly searching the area, you see a decrypt control panel. Green text scrolls across its black screen. Emergency lockdown procedure initiated. Authorized personnel. Access main at terminals to re reroute power. One of the others calls to you from beside a steel supply cabinet. He's found several full face respirator masks. You put one over your face and the burning in your eyes and lungs subsides. But you don't have long to enjoy the sensation. The heavy tramping of boots echoes down the corridor. They're coming. Okay, so I guess is our, our thing on this game is to get the elevator working again. Um, we started with five vitality and one threat a piece so we each have one threat and this lady has uh, an enduring and she gets to up her vitality by one so she has six adrenaline cards and she gets this uh sharp mind plus one intelligence uh this guy's got egghead and so he's minus one strength but plus two intelligence and then he has linebacker which is a plus one strength so that kind of evens that out um also we all start at three fear and here's where we're starting right here and here and what we have to do is we have to find control panels that regulate elevator power once you access enough of them you can get back on the elevator and continue with the escape uh, so we have to find icons that somewhat look like that but they have a control panel uh, on it I guess a little in the yellow kind of like that uh, once we find one of those we have to do a uh, intelligence challenges challenge on three tiles with the control panel icons to get the elevator working again uh, the challenge rating is three plus one for each access control panel in play when you successfully access a control panel place an access control panel marker on the title it cannot be accessed again if you fail a challenge to access control panel gain one threat if you fail by two or more points <laughs> start locked down immediately uh, when you access control panel, spot a guard on the closest control panel tile that has not yet been accessed. Add one guard to the reserves for each access control panel marker in play. Lockdown starts when either either when a player accesses the third control panel or when a player fails an attempt to access control panel as described above. Okay, so that's what we got to try to do. So we have our tile stacked the way we've got them, or the way we're supposed to. Uh, we have our guards here because it says we have to add some more into the reserves. If need be and so we'll start with the guy first he has a speed of two he doesn't got any bonuses so uh, hell he might as well let's move one well that's the girl uh, how about we move one and we'll put him down here okay and we have the boiler room Yeesh. And we have 
two things there that we'll have to do. So let's do an event card here. The first thing we gotta do is we have to spawn a clone. Shit. All right off the bat, put a clone in our room, which we do. All right. Yeah, place a locked door marker on any door on your tile. If your fear is six or more, also place a locked door marker on another door on your tile. Well, okay. So we put a locked door marker and the only other door is that one. And then we have the facility. Place a glass gas cloud marker on this tile. Roll two dice and discard an adrenaline card for every double icon you rolled. Okay. Well, I have to draw uh, discard one adrenaline. So I will discard one of these. Put a gas cloud marker on here. So I got screwed right off the bat. Okay, and then we activate our clone here. And so our clone is going to attack. Okay, and so he gets four strength. I have a toughness. Hey, lose that. I have a toughness. Well, he's gonna first thing I'm gonna play is this. So I had to discard one. So I'm going to discard two. I'm going to discard that one. And I'm going to play this to up my toughness to two. And I gain one fear. So, all right. So it's four. And so now my toughness is three. Okay. He got four strength icons. So now I have to lose another card. Now I will lose this one. Okay. So it's the girl's turn. And, of course, his fear has to go up because he was attacked. Okay, it's the girl's turn, and she's going to move. And she will move one, two, up here. Okay, and we have this here. And this is a... There's an item in there. And there's also a activation there. So let's see what that, that is. It's a... Uh, no spawning of anything. Attempt a five intelligence challenge. If you fail, put a guard force marker on your tile. If you fail by three or more, also spawn a guard marker on your tile. Well, okay. Let's see what her intelligence is. Right now, it's two. She will... Tell you what, though. She'll get rid of this card. Get rid of that. She will get rid of this card, lose two fear, and gain two intelligence. So she will lose two fear, but that makes her gain three intelligence. So she has five total intelligence. Okay, and we got four. That stinks. Ah, oh, man. Well, I got to put a guard post marker on this tile. I didn't fail by three more. Okay. Alright, now we have to spawn, activate another guard. I mean, clone, and clone will activate again. And it's going to attack our hero, or one of the heroes. And he gets three on the strength. Now, he still has that, so he didn't get hurt that time. And she can get an item from the item deck because there's the item thing there, and she gets a bulletproof vest. So that ups her toughness by one. <clears throat> Alright, so guys, turn he gets to draw an adrenaline card. Alright, let's see what he wants to do. Let's see if he can outwit this clown here. Alright, has intelligence. Hmm. He will lose one fear. He will gain an intelligence. So his intelligence is three. Five. Okay, his intelligence is five, so we will roll five dice to try to outwit that idiot. And we got one, two, three, four successes. So we can outwit this guy, and we will move now one, two. And now he has to draw an event. All right, don't spawn anything. And activation, we don't have to activate anything. There's no guards on the board. So that was good. Okay. So it's our girl's turn. And she will move one here. So let's spawn a tile. Okay. Alright. First of all, she can get a adrenaline card. 
There's a medical thing in there, so she could get another one, but we have to do the event first. All right, we won't spawn anything. Spawn a clone on a tile adjacent to a player. Yee. Okay, well, we will do that. We will spawn a clone on a tile adjacent to a player. <sighs> we will put it right here. And then we have to activate it. A clone. And so this one... activates one and this one activates another and she will get another adrenaline card okay so it's the guy's turn he gets an adrenaline card and he's going again going to try to outwit so he he will use this card here lose one fear and he gains one in intelligence and he has three that's five so he gets to roll five dice again Try to outwit this guy. And we got four, five. So he does outwit. So he moves one to here. God, boy. All right, and we have to see what happens. Yikes. Okay, so we have no spawning. All right. Spawn a guard on your tile. Pass a three speed challenge to place your character on the tile you just left. Alright, so we got spawn a guard. Man, he's having shitty luck on our tile. And we have to pass a three speed challenge. You know, he has a challenge. He has two two speed. Uh, no. He did not go to the next tile. Okay, and then we have the fear. Gain up to four fear. Spawn a clone on an adjacent tile for a point you didn't gain up to four. Yikes. Okay, well, he will go to six, and he will spawn one clone. And this tile is adjacent, so why not do that? All right, then we have two players, so the guard activates, and the guard will attack. Okay, so the guard... Two strength. Toughness is one. Of course, he just got attacked. So, uh, he loses one adrenaline card. Yikes. Okay. All right, so it's our girl's turn here, and she will uh, draw an adrenaline card. She's racking them in. I don't, I don't know how this will be so one-sided. She's going to move. And she moves to here. All right. And we have a fear icon, so let's do no spawning. Gain up to four fear, spawn that clone on just tile. Okay, well, she'll do that. She'll go to five. And we have to activate a guard again. So the guard will attack him again. All right. And we have, oof, man, dang, look at that. So he is going to the infirmary. Let's put him in the infirmary. He lost his adrenaline cards. Yikes. And we'll put his fear back down to three. And his vitality goes down to four now. Okay, but she had, can get an item. There's an item in there. So let's see. It's a map fragment. On your turn, discard this card to look at the next three tiles. Put one on the bottom of the final stack. Put the other two on top of the stack. You drew them. All right. Then it, or discard this card to re-roll a peak die. We won't be peaking. All right. It's his turn. So let's draw him four adrenaline cards. Okay. Let's see where he comes out at. Where's the tile with a vent? No vent, no vent, <coughs> no vent. Uh, the only one with the vent is this this crappy one right here. So he has to come out on that one, which he will do. And in order to even move, uh,
he got to get past him. Let's see. All right, he'll go ahead and he will lose. He'll play this, lose two fear. He'll go all the way down to one. Okay, that gives him two, four, six, seven dice. He can definitely do an outwit on that. Come on, I know you can do it. You got to be kidding me! Holy cow! All them damn. Hey, jeez, he failed it. You suck, dude. Okay. <clears throat> well, he's going to have to stay there, so he has to draw an event card. Now, we don't spawn anything, but the clone will activate. So, um, unfortunately, though, he still has the lowest fear. So, she has the highest fear. So, this one will move here. So we'll move here, and this one will attack. Okay, well, he... Look at that. All right, so he didn't get hurt. Okay, it's our girl's turn here. And she will move over here. All right, and this is a... guard post, so we have to put a... That's a war zone there, Tile. Uh, now, that's from the new lockdown rules. So, we won't get into that yet. So, we'll just say that this tile doesn't have anything on it. So, we will pick an item. Get another map fragment. One. Well, no, what? Let's not do that. And she will go ahead and move two. Two. Okay, now this has a security panel. Alright, so let's do an event. Um, we do have to spawn a guard now. So let's spawn a guard. And we will spawn a guard at the closest guard post, which will be right here. Okay. Uh, then we have a clone activation, and she still has the higher fear, so this one will move one, this one will move one, and that clone will attack him, and that's two, he loses one, he only has one toughness, so he loses one, so he'll lose that one. Um... Okay, now she will try to access that control panel. So let me find something with some intelligence here. Okay, lose two fear. All right, so she will lose two fear. And let me see, and she will do this again and lose two more fear. Okay, so that's four, six, seven. So I get to roll seven dice. Four, five, six, seven. And if I can pass that intelligence test, then I can access that control panel. Oh, you gotta be crapping me, man. Look at that. Is there anything that lets me re-roll? You gotta be shitting me. You can re-roll up to two challenge dice. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. And plus, I gain another intelligence one. So, kidding. Okay, that's better. So that's three, five. That's five according to this thing. Challenge rating of plus three. All right, so we got it. All right, so this one has been accessed. Jeez, it costs a little bit. Okay, so when we come back, it'll be our guy's turn, and this is Solo Gamer saying, see you then.